These days, many of us refuse to eat anything that doesn't resemble a burger, and we run away in fear at the first sight of food that we're not familiar with. What you might not know, though, is just how incredibly strange some of the food out there actually is. If you're eating anything, I suggest you stop, as we count 10 of the strangest foods people actually eat. Number 10. The Squirming Octopus We all know the octopus is enjoyed by many cultures around the world. No news there. What you may not know, however, is that there's a Japanese and Korean delicacy that involves eating a live octopus. Technically, they do remove its brain, but because the kill is so fresh when it hits your plate, you'll find its tentacles are still splashing around in your sauce. In fact, it even tries to escape your bowl when you pour soy sauce over it. Essentially, what's happening here is that the nerves and the muscles of the octopus are still active, so when you pour something salty over it, like soy sauce, it reacts to the stimuli and tries to get the hell out of there. Number 9. Severed Human Toe Cocktail while it's not exactly food, the fact that this exists at all is hard to comprehend. There's a bar in Northwest Canada which will make you a very special cocktail indeed. The drink pot can be whatever you fancy, after which they will drop a disembodied human toe into it for you. Nice. The toes are all drained of bodily fluids and are pickled, so you'll only die if you choke on it. But this process does also alter the appearance of the toe, so it looks more like a diseased severed toe. If you happen to get frostbite and lose a toe or two, head over to Dawson City in Yukon, where they'll gladly take it off your hands, or in this scenario, feet, and for your generous donation, you'll be, and I quote, forever immortalized in the Sour Toe Hall of Fame. Number 8. The Twitchy Shrimp. So, you thought the squirming octopus was just too humane. You want your food to not only be wiggling around, but it needs to be alive. Good news, Japan and China have found a solution in the form of getting your shrimps drunk out of their minds to the point where they don't care about being eaten alive. The shrimp are doused in alcohol, which also makes them incredibly thirsty, making them eagerly suck up whatever was poured over them. This results in you not only getting the freshest meal you could possibly get, but you'll also get drunk to the point where you hopefully won't remember this ever happening to you. Number 7. Fruit Bat Soup this meal is one that could be easily prepared by even the worst cook you know. Not that they'd want to. The process for preparing fruit bat soup is to rinse off the bat, boil it, occasionally chop some vegetables and douse everything in coconut milk. That's it. Notice how shaving the bat is missing from the steps? That's because the hair is consumed, along with the eyes, wings and just about everything that isn't bone. The really disturbing part though is not how the food is prepared, but what it can do to your brain. When these bats are alive, they eat plants that are known to cause serious neurological diseases in humans, ranging from Parkinson's to Alzheimer's. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that putting these bats into a stew is not the best idea. Number 6. Sea urchin gonads. Yet another dish you consume while it still lives. The sea urchin is mostly inedible and looks nothing more than a tennis-sized ball of spikes. But it does contain fleshy chunks once you crack open its hard outer casing, which are supposedly delicious. Essentially, you'll be munching down on the sea urchin's gonads, but you don't have to wait for it to die before you tuck in. You can simply crack its shell open and start feasting on urchin nuts as it squirms. I bet you're thinking at this point that you can only get these from Japan. But no, you can find places in LA and San Diego that will serve you up a healthy portion. Number 5. Balu. A dish from the Philippines, balu is sort of an egg and sort of a duck, but really it's neither. Balu are fertilized duck eggs that are nearly fully developed ducklings inside the embryo. It's then boiled and eaten with salt, just like normal boiled eggs. Once again, it supposedly tastes delicious with a mix of perfectly salted egg yolk and duck, but the image that meets you when you open up the egg and the smell in your mouth after having consumed it will be a difficult experience to wash from your brain. Number 4. Blood clams. To most, eating raw clams is already a disgusting endeavor. So what about a clam that's also filled with some juicy red blood? Blood clams are clams which produce an excess amount of hemoglobin, thus causing the red liquid to spew all over your plate when you open one up. The Chinese delicacy is traditionally prepared by boiling the clams for just 20 seconds, so all of the blood is as fresh as it can possibly be. According to consumers of this bizarre dish, eating them nearly raw is essential to the flavor. Number 3. Cobra Heart 
This dish takes us to the Vietnamese village of Le Mat near Hanoi, where the so-called chefs will gladly rip out a snake's still-beating heart and serve it up for you. If you're brave enough to request this dish from the menu, you can prepare yourself for a whole number of separate courses. The chef will pull out a juicy live snake, slaughter it in front of you, and will first offer you a tasty drink of the cobra's bile and venom. At this point, you better hope you don't have any cuts in your mouth, as the venom would flow into your bloodstream and most likely kill you. Next, you'll be served some snake spring rolls, ribs, fried skin, snake scales over rice, and spinal soup. But the finale, and what you've really been looking forward to, is the cobra's still beating raw heart, which you're supposed to swallow whole, because why on earth not? Number 2. Rotting Birds This dish hails from Greenland, and is the result of 18 months of preparation, preservation, and fermentation. Of course, these are all just fancy words. What I really mean is, they leave the food out to rot under rocks for a year and a half. So, the dish. In essence, they take a dead seal carcass, hollow it out so just the skin remains, then they stuff it full with hundreds of dead, decaying bird corpses. You don't need to worry about getting rid of the bones, as you'll be consuming those too, since the fermentation process is designed to tenderize every part of the bird. So dig in, no need to cook. Number 1 thousand-year-old egg. Another delicacy from China. The thousand-year-old egg, which is also known as the century egg or the millennium egg, is essentially just a preserved egg. The process actually takes anywhere from a few weeks to a few months rather than years, and involves soaking the eggs in a saline solution. Once the preservation is complete, the eggs turn into a supposedly tasty but incredibly smelly dish. The yolk of the egg turns dark green and takes on a creamy cheese consistency, while the egg white turns into a translucent jelly-like substance. There's a common misconception that the eggs are made by soaking them in horse urine, due to their pungent odour, which is because of the high levels of ammonia found in the eggs. 